Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel where today I'm going to be showing you how to test your panel on your TV. Now, I just want to start off by saying a massive thanks to all my new subscribers and viewers to the channel. It has really been picking up over the last few days. I think it's because everyone has been in lockdown. So YouTube is very popular at the moment. And uh, a few of you guys who are new to the channel have said, you know, why am I only doing things to do with OLED TVs? Is that all you do? Well, no, I do lots of other stuff. And I would ask you guys to go and check out all my other videos. And I've got a few examples of the uh, things that I have done before in the past and more things that I'm going to be doing. So today, like I said, I'm going to be trying out, um, or should I say, showing you guys how I test out um, my OLED TV. But not only that, my QLED TV. Yes, I actually own a Samsung Q90R. Now, this hasn't been used for a little while. Reason being is um, I was sent this to uh, test out and that. Done all my testing. Uh, I was allowed to keep the TV. And uh, it was actually going to go in the bedroom. But unfortunately, we had a bit of a water leak and I wasn't willing to put it into the bedroom where potentially it could get damaged. So we've been waiting for the... Uh, walls to be sorted and that but any day this tv will be going up on the wall and will be fitted along with this uh no gap wall mount and like i said i've done loads of testing between this and my oled tv so go and check out those videos i've done the unboxing of this that was a very popular video um comparisons I've uh, got to do a few more on this one to do with um, like the worst things about it because I've done the best things about it, but not the worst things about it. some tips and tricks videos. But um, what I'm going to be doing as well is setting up the Q90R just down here. So they are almost uh, as close as you can get them together, the two TVs, just put on a bit of a wider angle there. And I'm going to be doing a bit of gaming on the two TVs. So we have got the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. Both of those consoles will be tested out on both the TVs simultaneously to uh, see how they compare. Other content I've got coming up and I have done in the past, now I've done the unboxing of my 3D printer, but I aim to do some more content on that while you guys are all in lockdown. Um, I've got this brand new Samsung T5 uh, one terabyte solid state drive there. That's yet to be opened. I'm going to do uh, obviously an unboxing on that. Bit of speed uh, testing, uh, read and write speeds. And I'm going to probably plug it into the uh, Samsung and the LG OLED and uh, see what it's like when recording sort of uh, your TV to it and playing back media from the solid state drive to those TVs. Uh, along with that, we've got a uh, some tile pros there again brand new got to open those out uh test them out got some phillips hue stuff i've got loads of phillips hue stuff at the moment already but that's just a couple more to add to the uh other a bunch of stuff that i've got there got a uh hand warmer power bank as well along with that we've got my uh sound bar here again i've already done a video on this and unboxing one but i'm also going to compare this uh, with the sound to the TV and to my dedicated amp and speakers to see how they compare. And again, something a little bit different, but still te techy. Nonetheless, I've got my e-mountain bike. Again, I have done an unboxing video on this, so please go and check it out. And uh, yeah, full of technology, this absolutely amazing bit of kit. I've hardly used it at all, to be honest. But um Again, it might be something you guys are interested in. And uh, yeah, hopefully if I can get out at any time when the uh, restrictions are sort of uh, loosened a bit, I'll be taking this out and giving you guys a bit of uh, on the road experience with it and uh, showing you uh, the advantages of an e-bike over a traditional bike. And uh, they are absolutely amazing bits of kit. Trust me, you know, you've got to go and try one of these, these things out. Going up a hill, you put it in turbo mode and you are just flying. 
So yeah, lots of uh, content to come. And uh, like I said, you know, there is unboxings on a lot of this stuff already. So please go and check it out. My channel is just not one uh, TV. It is lots of other things. And I've got even more uh, products being sent to me as we speak. I've got about three or four different things on its on their way. And I'll be doing uh, videos on those as well. Now, there's one other thing that I forgot to point out to you newbies to the channel, and that is the fact that we actually do giveaways on this channel. Yeah, last year, even when we were a very small channel with sort of like about four or 5,000 subscribers, we actually uh, partnered up with um, a tech company here in the UK, and we done a giveaway. One of the uh, prizes was a £600 LG soundbar. Um, there was some Netflix vouchers, and I also gave away a Google Home Mini. And uh, we're hoping to do more giveaways this year. So again, you know, if you want to be part of that, make sure you are uh, subscribed to the channel. Well, now that you've seen that I've got a lot more to offer than just an OLED TV, um, I will be getting, like I said, lots more products. But I will be honest, I am looking at getting the 2020 OLED TVs, but also the Samsung QLEDs as well. And plenty more of the latest and greatest tech coming in 2020. So make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to be um, kept up to date with all that. Right, now we've got all that out of the way, I think it's time I show you how to test your panel. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do to uh, test out your panel is fire up the YouTube app. This is my go-to source for uh, material when testing out my uh, TVs. Uh, on my LG OLED, I've got a shortcut already on my remote. So if I just hold down my shortcut button and it will fire into life. Don't worry about the colour on the uh, screen there looking a bit orange. Trust me, it is red. It's just my camera making it look funny. And again, this applies to any TV really, but you know, I'm going to use examples of the QLED and OLED because that's the uh, two TVs that I have been testing out recently. And you know, they have both got YouTube built in. Um, so the first one that I use is a 5% grayscale. Now, simply for searching for this, I search for 5% grayscale, funny enough. And this is the particular one that I use here. Um, I won't bother running it because being the light it is, you won't see a lot. Saying that, well, I'll just click on it anyway and show you guys. But as you've seen there, that's the one there. And it is so hard to see, but it does say 5%. But being the light it is, it's just reflecting because 5% is very low. So coming back out of that, and uh, we will now look at the color sweep. Again, loads of people have been asking me about this. Where do you get it from? Let me just adjust this picture where again, it's just sort of blowing out a little bit there. And uh, yeah, I just search for OLED burning test. That's the way I search for it. And uh, just click on that. And the one that I use, is this one here? It says OLED TV, OLED TV, and OLED smart smartphone grayscale color sweep. Uh, it does say about sort of to eliminate burning or something like that, but I simply use this to scroll through so to highlight any issues um, with burning or screen uniformity on the uh, Q ninety R as well. So uh, I'll just show you guys there for a second and just fast forward it a little bit. And as you can see, you've got like different colors on there. You've got a nice like, purple there. And yeah, that's the, the title of the actual uh, video itself there. So go and check that one out. And what I do is, uh, focus is all over the place. I apologize for this, my phone is playing up. Um, what I do, I just let it cycle through just to see on the face of it if there's anything um, obvious sticking out and then I go and stop it on some primary colors and then have a closer look at the screen. Now for looking for dead pixels what I found um, 
was best was the green for this. And if you've uh, seen any of my previous videos, then you would have seen this for yourself, that the green really highlights it. And if you haven't, go check out my other videos again and you will see um, some dead pixels on my OLED panel that uh, has now been changed. But yeah, so if you're looking for dead pixels, I'd recommend the green is a really good color to make them stand out. I mean, all the, you know, you should sit on all the colors, but the green, it just seems to pop out quite a bit more than the others. Now, another test that I do sometimes use, but I don't actually show in my videos, is this OLED banding one here from is it Modern Wise. Again, um, a very good test. I'll just briefly show you because I don't want to be done for like copyright reasons or anything like that. Um, and it just does it that it scrolls through uh, various percentages there and it will hide, you know, because of these lines scrolling like that, it will show uh, any vertical banding. Again, another good test there. Now for testing out the dirty screen effect on the QLEDs or just any LCD screen really, um, you can use the 5% grayscale or the one I just previously shown you. But also uh, Modern Wise again has got another one uh, dedicated for a dirty screen effect test. And again, I'll just briefly run this for a second. Just fast forward it there. And this got like a uh, hockey player just uh, moving about with a couple of bars there. And again, that should highlight any dirty screen effect on those LCD screens. There you go then, guys. What I'm going to do for you is put a link in the description for each of those videos. But um, to be honest, if you've got a TV with a voice search function on it, like these uh, OLEDs and QLEDs have, you're probably better off going on YouTube and just searching for it that way. Uh, anyway, like I said earlier, if you are new to the channel, please go and check out all my other videos. I've got absolutely tons of them. I'm sure there's uh, questions that you might have uh, about the QLEDs and OLEDs, and I've probably answered those in some of my uh, previous videos. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So... Thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.